This video is brought to you by PremiumBeat.com. I'm always looking for impressive ways to create creative work with After Effects and I'm taking a look here at seamless loopable titles. So in this video, we're gonna talk about three awesome seamless titles inside of After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Cinelec Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So seamless titles are essentially titles that will be repeatable, you know, infinitely loopable in a way. Just kind of like this channel, our videos are seamless. We just keep posting bad videos. But this video is pretty cool and let's jump into our tutorial. So in our first technique, we're gonna create a rotatable 3D title. All right, to get started in our first technique, we need to have our title in place here. And when you have your title out, all we're gonna do is go to Layer, Pre-Compose, and we'll just call it Title. Click OK. And then we can go into this Title Composition, go to Composition, go to Composition Settings, and where it says Height, we can make this smaller. Kind of like this. All right, that's cool. Click OK. Then what we can do is grab the Rectangle tool, uh, go to Fill, we can set this to Black, and we can just draw out a rectangle like this to cover our entire composition, put the shape layer underneath your title. Then you'll simply have a banner. So we'll go over to our main composition and I'll turn on transparency real quick. And we need to create this into a box. And it's really easy to do this, but just be sure to follow my settings when doing this. So first we need to turn this into a 3D layer. So we'll click that 3D layer button icon there. And then what we'll do is go to edit, duplicate. And then what we'll do is grab the pan behind tool right here and we'll grab this anchor point and we'll put it right at the bottom of our layer here. Awesome. Then we'll hit R on keyboard for rotation and we'll set our X rotation to 90 degrees. And then we'll rename our bottom layer to front, our top layer to bottom, and then we'll grab our front layer and let's duplicate it again. And we'll rename this to top. We'll grab the pan behind tool again, bring that anchor point right to the top of our layer here. Okay, and then hit R on your keyboard for rotation. And we'll set our X rotation to negative 90 degrees. So now that will be nicely on the top there. And then we'll grab our front layer again and we'll duplicate it. We'll rename this to back. And we'll just hit P on your keyboard for position. Grab the Z position and we'll just bring this back. So we might have to take a look at this in a second, but we'll go to like 200 on it. Then what we'll do is we'll go to layer, new, null object. And then we'll hit P on our keyboard for null position and we can set this to like negative 70 uh, Z value there. All right, and then we can grab all of our four layers and parent it to the null object by grabbing that pick whip. And now we can just hit R on keyboard for rotation, grab the X rotation, go to the end of your timeline, I'll say nine seconds, and set the X rotation to 2X. And if you scroll to like the middle of your timeline, you'll see that we mess up our back layer. So what we can do is just move our back layer until it connects into our box. So right there is good. So now we have a complete box going on right here in our animation. And as we scrub through this, you'll see that some words are gonna be inverted. So make sure you just grab those layers, go to layer, uh, transform, and you can click on flip vertical or horizontal depending on the word, and you'll be able to fix that. Back layer, and let's go to effect, channel, and we'll grab invert. And then let's copy this and let's paste it to the front layer. With all this put together, our loopable seamless title box should look something like this and you might have to go back and adjust some of the sides, but pretty easy to do that. So before we move on to our next technique, I want to say thank you to premiumbeat.com for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from and they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system that allows you to quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty free music. So now that we have the 3D rotatable title inside of here, let's talk about actually creating like a seamless background for our title. All right, to create a seamless background, it's super easy to do this. So once you have a title in here, once again, we're going to layer pre-compose and we'll just call it title. Okay, great. Then let's go back to that composition, go to composition, go to composition settings. And once again, we'll take the width and kind of bring this down and take the height and bring it down and just make sure that your word has a nice little border around, uh, you know, the word and click OK. And let's go back into that composition and we just have our title in here and then we'll go to effect stylize and we're going to grab motion tile and where it says output width and height we'll just expand this to go past our composition and like this boom and now our title is everywhere 
Then what we can do is add a keyframe for tile center, move to the end of our animation, I'll just say 8 seconds, and we can just bring this down if you want to. So now we'll have this animation like this going up, awesome. But then we can also add a keyframe for say phase, go to the end of our animation. Now we can animate this going in the opposite direction. So now we'll have something like this, and that is really cool. So now we kind of have a nice seamless background in here. And I can apply this to my main composition, and now we have a cool creative background with our word and this is how we can easily create a seamless title background really quick so if we want to take these techniques even further and kind of marry the two techniques together in our third technique we're going to talk about how to create 3d seamless titles in a very creative way okay so we have four different titles in here and we have this all applied to the motion tile effect going across and when you have something like this in here we can create like a stacking staircase in a way so let me show you what we do here we can turn all these objects into 3d uh, layers and we can come into our bottom layer yeah, and what we can do is hit R and keyboard for a rotation and we'll set the X rotation to negative 90 degrees and we'll grab our second title and we can just bring it downward and we'll go to the third title here and we'll hit R and keyboard for rotation and we'll set the X rotation to negative 90 degrees again and we will bring this down and then we'll grab our top title and we'll just hit P and keyboard for position and we'll bring it down so now what we can do is go to layer new camera click OK and we can simply grab the orbit camera tool and just orbit this by a little bit kind of rotate this entire composition and to make any quick changes we can grab say the first three titles here and set this back into Z space to create some separation between each one and then we can grab this, the first two titles continue to offset those back in time and we can add some contrast in here by going to color correction and grabbing tint and we can map to white to a little bit of a darker gray click OK and then copy that tint and go to like the you know this next upright title and this will continue to create some contrast here by animating our motion tile we can easily create these longer creative based titles offsetted in 3d space so it's a pretty cool idea for our technique but I want to give our motion graphics starter pack a quick shout out our motion graphics starter pack has nearly 400 templates ranging from accent motion graphics titles and animated backgrounds so just for a quick example here we have our own extension here in After Effects and I can quickly apply our own set of accent graphics by clicking the apply button here and as this layer on top of our timeline and within a matter of second we can help enhance our compositions out of one of the many accent motion graphics that we can apply within a second and we have plenty of amazing titles as well and we can preview each asset before moving on. So if you want to check out our motion graphics starter pack, that link will be in the description. So those are some techniques on creating seamless titles inside of After Effects. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.